the tradie papa no civil servants caught having sex in their offices will face severe measures the vice president of equatorial guinea has warned after hundreds of allegedly pornographic videos were leaked to the public The no-nonsense vice president has ordered for arrest and prosecution of Ebang and Gonga on graft allegations and privacy violation of women featured in his videos. He was also arrested for being a key witness on case where one of the women he slept with committed suicide. <laughs> The videos reportedly involve high-ranking civil servant Baltazar Ebangengonga having sex with various women, including the wives of prominent officials in his office. Mr. Ngonga is head of the country's National Financial Investigation Agency and also a relative of the country's president. He has not yet commented. Vice President Teodoro Obiang Mangay said any officials found engaging in sex acts at work would be suspended as this was a flagrant violation of the code of conduct. He has also ordered the installation of surveillance cameras in courts and ministries to combat indecent and illicit acts. A statement from the vice president's office said the decision had been taken in the wake of the widely circulated videos which had denigrated the image of the country. It added that he had recommended opening an investigation. The videos in question were leaked after Mr. Ngonga was arrested on separate corruption charges, state television TVGE said. Last week, Vice President Obiang said pornographic videos had been flooding social media and ordered telecoms companies to curb the spread. Since then, the flow of internet traffic, particularly the downloading of images, has been severely disrupted in the country. As head of the National Financial Investigation Agency, Mr. Ngonga works on tackling financial crimes such as money laundering. Following the furore over the videos, Equatorial Guinea's chief prosecutor Anatolio Nzang Nguema told State TV that if Mr. Ngonga was found to have been infected with a sexually transmitted disease, he would be prosecuted for an offense against public health. <laughs> He is reportedly nicknamed Bello, Spanish for beautiful, on account of his good looks.